Now, he's only been in Gainesville for over a year, but for Will Muschamp, it must seem like an eternity. The good news, the Gators avoided its first losing season since the late 70s, but the growing pains could pay off down the road. You understand how guys are going to respond in situations and what calls are going to be made in certain situations. The unknowns are not there. Uh, there's a more of a comfortable feeling uh, with, with what we're trying to do schematically. And, 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 you know, again, the 300th rep is better than the 100th. So that's what you got to look at after over a period of time. Oh, it was also a year of transition where Florida offensive coordinator Charlie Weiss was one and done, which left Muschamp trying to fill a big vacancy. We're not going to come in here and change what we're doing. I don't think that it's smart to hire a guy and have 40 guys learn it as opposed to one guy learn it. Uh, obviously, will he tweak some things? Certainly. Will he change some things? Yeah, maybe. But we're not going to just take a playbook, throw it out the window, and bring another one in. we got a young football team, and I think continuity is the most important thing at this point. Florida grew up in its first year under Muschamp, but who matured the most? Dominic Easley, uh, Sharif Floyd. I think Ronald Powell played his best football at the end of the season. Uh, played well in the Florida State game. Uh, you know, Jelani Jenkins has done some very positive things. Matt Elam has played well for us in the secondary. Uh, up front, Andre DeBose has been a guy that vertically made some nice plays for us down the field. Both young quarterbacks I'm excited about. Those names are all freshmen and sophomores. So Muschamp sees this offseason as a season of change. Changes in his coaching staff and a change on how he will approach the recruiting process. You still want to evaluate and take the right guys. Now, it's a little different now because we have a whole year to evaluate. And I think a little bit of my philosophy at that point was, uh, or most of it was the simple standpoint of not taking a guy you weren't sure about. You know, and I think that that's the most important thing is right now we've had a full year to evaluate. And we know what we've evaluated. We've ranked everybody at every position. We understand the numbers at certain positions we want to take. Uh, but we're not going to take a guy to take a guy. If we've learned one thing about Will Muschamp in his short tenure in Gainesville, it's this. The guy is intense. A perfect example of that is recruiting. We talked to many of his recruits in his most recent class, and they told us he's as intense in their living rooms as he is on the sidelines. How was Coach Muschamp during the recruiting process? Uh, just a real good guy. You know, he's, he's one of those guys that's real pumped up about uh, his, first, you know, his first recruiting class. He's kind of one of those guys you want to make that play for him on, like, on the field. He's like a player, you know, pumped up, hyped up, you make the play. But he's always in your ear, you know, letting you know what you're doing wrong and uh, fixing it. But uh, he's a real good guy overall. He's the same person all off the field. Uh, jumpy, excited, ready just to, to, uh, to, uh, to do what he can to get you to be a Gator. And he didn't have to do much for me. He's still that same guy who's ready to coach at any moment. And he's, he's, he's on top of things. He's a great person. That's, that's why I picked him. The Gator recruits like Muschamp for being himself. Sure, he learned how he can improve as a head coach, but he also learned what he must not change. Joe Torre once said this, the, the manager of the Newark Yankees, just because the decision, the coaching decision you make didn't work doesn't mean it was the wrong move. Go back and look at the facts you had at the time you made the decision and why you made the decision. So next season, expect the same old Muschamp with a few new kinks. In Gainesville, Mike Neighbors for CST Tonight.